Alrighty, uh, let's do some more of this. We're gonna do new story, continue, customize playthrough, continue, got a random seed, continue. Oh, Lucas uh, just subbed and gifted a tier one sub. Thank you so much. Uh, I guess this is a good time to mention that we do have a new sub goal. This came about as a result of me talking to some viewers and people were like, you should play the Kingdom Hearts series. And I was like, I've already played Kingdom Hearts 1 and Chain of Memories and 2. I don't know if I want to do the Kingdom Hearts series. Uh, and then they were like, yeah, but have you done critical mode? And I was like, yes. And they were like, have you done critical mode zero EXP? And I was like, no. So, uh, maybe we'll do that if we hit the sub goal. I don't know, that can be a franchise run or something. People like Kingdom Hearts. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, alright. I'm gonna turn up the difficulty one level, um, just to see. See how that goes. Um, Coda asks, have I watched Breaking Bad? I have seen Breaking Bad. I watched it as it aired. All right, so we have already done the mirror and the eye. I think it's time to do uh, the spider god, Kthak Atarasu, uh, because I think ending on the devouring flame is very Sandus core. So we'll do, we'll do the spider god next. Eternal web, you can't run from combat. That shouldn't impact us that much. We know, we already know how to do that, so. Back Atarasu is once again awakening from its slumber. Blinded by its impossible to satisfy hunger, it started to tear down the walls of its cocoon prison. Stop it before it devours us all. All right, let's grab. Ooh, we got abolish. That's pretty good. That's actually really good. We'll equip the backpack for now. Sugi says, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Sugi. I hope your Thanksgiving is going well. Oh my god, I can save? That's wild. Okay. Oh, I can, I can edit the... Okay, this is letting me do different things. This is interesting. Home, prepare, rest, that's fine, school. I don't have any of these other things. So have we just not unlocked this stuff yet? Do I need to do the other runs in order to get these or, or what? Because it, it's very unclear to me, um, ultimately, it's ultimately very unclear to me how this game's unlock progression works. Like, do we need to actually play the the other runs or, or what? If we fail out on this, maybe I'll try one of those. Check my mailbox, it's empty. Uh, I can take a bath, cool. I got my reason up. Small experience boost to start, open that. Nothing in there. Can't interact with the light switch. Pull the curtains. Cute. Inexplicable morbid events have been plaguing your town. We already know these. All right. Sorrowful Saga of the Moonlight Sailors. I don't remember any of these. I, it's so confusing to me that it tells me that I already have so many of these completed. When I literally have... the. The last time we played the game is the first time I think I ever completed a run of this game. So I'm very confused why it's telling me that I have so many endings, but... It got cut. All right, uh, this is fine. We'll try to get some more eels. This time I'll let Kana die in that one to get the next ending. Fishing season's end, that could be neat. A horrible history of household hell. I apparently got the beast awakened ending. I don't know what that means. A spine-chilling story of school scissors could be neat. Alarming account of abnormal arms. Ending a pervert. 
Uh, all right, let's go through these. Let's just do these. These seem fine. Alarming account of abnormal arms. I do love arms. I remember when it started, the woman next door was strangled to death in her bed with no sign of forced entry. The killer was never found and the apartment remained vac vacant. All right, let's investigate the mystery. Can't investigate your own home. Prepare. Cost doom to enter unique items. We'll take that. Finally pick up a bandage. Hope that will help. Plus five doom. That's fine. That's fine to start with. I want to go to downtown and I want to shop for items. Let's see. Sewing kit is for medicine. Steak knife. I have pretty low decks. It's not great. Camera's not great. Map. Ooh, investigating villager forest locations lowers doom. And then plus one perception on a flashlight could be really useful. Huh. Oh, I can only buy one thing, so flashlight it is. Let's investigate downtown. Investigate the hospital twice to complete this quest. Let's do that first. As part of therapy, some patients took part in art classes. Some of their work fills you with dread, minus two reason. Eh, that's fine. So one thing I need people to do for me in this run is uh, mark when, um, let me know the order of enemies that we fight, because we'll need that for the ending. You're stopped by a masked man wearing a lab coat. He introduces himself as a researcher from Tokyo University, testing a new treatment method that promises to revolutionize modern medicine. Holding on a pile of documents, he tells you he can heal your wounds for free. Just sign here. Accept. Luck check failure. Oh no. Later you wake up in an abandoned surgical ward with an the old part of the hospital with a nasty new wound. Doctor is nowhere to be seen, plus injury. Cut artery, minus one stamina each investigation. I'm gonna die. Anatomical archive displays a specimen with elongated arms and jellified bones, minus one reason. Um, heal this injury. How do I heal it? Can I not heal it? Check out patient room. All right, take the elevator, return to reception area, enter doctor's office. On injury cards. What? How is it saying I don't have an available action? This just cost me doom and it's not letting me do stuff. Well, this might be our first death run. I might, I'm definitely gonna run out of doom. That's not gonna be good. Walking through the park, you find a little girl crying alone in the playground. When you ask what's wrong, she says that she can't find her mommy. Luckily, you spot the girl's address on a backpack lying near it. Uh, take her home. Plus 10 experience, minus two stamina. This is fucked, I'm gonna, I'm so dead. You offer to take her home. When you get there, your terrified mother slams the door in your face. From behind the door, she starts screaming to get the girl away. The little girl calmly tells you that she can take it from here. Oh no, that's scary. All right, investigate apartments. Kind of have to say, Kana's not home, you should like later. Okay. Well, looking around the ransacked room of your recently deceased friend, you discover a half finished painting of a woman, her skin a ghastly pale yellow color. The scene is disturbing, you struggle to look at it. Minus two reason. Intimidated by the unsettling portrait, you're haunted by nightmares. That's a bummer. I should be reading the top things, I keep forgetting. You wonder what kind of animal the spider caught in its web. You scare away the annoyed predator and rip open the cocoon to reveal a human finger. Oh no, minus two reason. Patina ring. One minor injury while keeping this item in the inventory. Okay. I'll equip the flashlight just to have it. Plus dexterity, minus two max stamina, that's fine. Um, you should interview the neighbors. Maybe you'll discover something the police missed. All right, where's my injuries? Injury major, okay.
Goda says, Kingdom Hearts has, a special interest of, uh, has been a special interest of mine since I was very young. Chain of memories of my first video game, so if you'll do it, I'll definitely watch. Well, that would be fun. All right. Loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up, shuts a deep voice from behind the door. I know you're there. Get closer to the door to ask what's the matter or call the police. Last time we did this, it didn't work for us, so let's call the police. Man escapes when he hears a police siren, but before he goes, he draws an unfamiliar symbol in blood on your front door, plus 3% doom. Oh my god, we're so fucked with doom and stamina. That's gonna be bad. How do we heal a major injury? Passing by a faulty elevator, its doors suddenly open. You take a step back, noticing a weird tall woman standing in the darkness. Do you live here? I've never seen you. All right, Cyclops neighbor, minus one reason per attack. That's really bad. Um, we're probably gonna get destroyed. Hyena uh, Gemma says, Meowdy, uh, hi, Hyena. All right, uh, let's see. Do a bunch of kicks. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? Um, we should prepare my attack and then do a bunch of kicks. Oh, I can only do... Hummer. Clear. One, two, three, and now we get one, two, three. Okay, cool. Launch sequence. This, uh, we're gonna die instantly. Oh no, we missed. We are doing real bad, folks, already. This is our first combat we've been destroyed. Hyena Gemma says you can uh, fix injuries in the hospital. So we tried to do that. I, I'm already at 23% doom because we tried this multiple times. So cause doom to enter, multiple injuries. Enter the doctor's office. Cut artery. Oh, it's right here. I didn't notice this. Fuck, that's why. Hasty aid. When taking stamina damage in combat, replace hasty aid with a new random injury. Interesting. God damn it. All right, so we're at 25% doom already. It's really bad. Investigate the apartments. Wandering through the empty corridor, you find an old vending machine. You don't recognize the brands of sodas inside, but you could really use a drink. Get the most expensive one. Tastes a little job, but you enjoy the drink anyway. That's fine. We have no funds anymore. Investigate the apartments. Let's see if we can make it through this run, this already super doomed run. As you prepare a bath, you think about all the possible leads so far. You're very tired. Maybe ice cold water is a good idea. Cold bath. Minus two stamina. What? Your body clearly wasn't prepared for a cold bath and you can feel a cold coming on. Damn it. <laughs> Every room is connected by vents coming through the unused boiler room. Could it be? Investigate the boiler room. You enter the dark boiler room and trip over the pipe. Cursing, you find a light switch and gasp in horror. It's not a pipe at all. It's a long rubbery arm coiling around the room and ending in a ventilation shaft. Coming closer, you smell something vile and rotten. Check the vent. Oh no, it's tombs. You almost fall to the ground when you see the wide open stare of a dead pervert. His elongated limbs stretching and disappearing into the vent's darkness. Inside his mouth, you find a tiny key. After the police arrive, the whole building gets searched. Following the arms, the detectives find a body of a man stuck in the ventilation shaft. Later, he is identified as the building caretaker in his closet. Police find a piece of underwear and voyeuristic photos taken of tenants. You are questioned thoroughly and eventually released as a murder case is being covered up as a case of unfortunate gas leak. All right, so 30 experience, 15%, uh, so 45 experience. It's very weird that these two things just don't add up. Minus 4% doom. Plus one re reason, stamina, time passes one day. Oh god, we're so screwed. Dangerous bands of riders are gathering around the downtown area. The police are hopeless. Great, can't even use the police stuff. That's fine. We're fine, we're fine. Uh, what's my status? Uh, definitely gonna need more... Let's get our reason up. Alright, well, that went. So I still never got a new ending for this one. I don't know what I was supposed to do, because I did the side quest and it didn't get us what we needed. Sir Floppy Bit says, I love Asian style furries. Kemono, I think. Kemono is the Japanese style of furry. Kem kemono just means beast in Japanese. It is technically has a different history than the western side of the fandom, which is cool. 
All right, horrible history of the household hell, sorrowful saga of Moonlight Sailors. Uh, let's do eels again. I want to see if I can get another ending. And if we fail out early, that's fine. We've already done this. We have Kana with us, uh, which is good. Uh, before we do this, investigate seaside locations. We'll do that right away. Hardware shop. What do I want? Ooh, can of acid. Seven en enemies. Oh, fuck. We can't do anything here. Blah. Because uh, I don't have any funds. All right, let's do seaside. I don't even have enough experience for a level up. This sucks. Try to recruit allies. Town stocks are a mix of modern warehouses, small shops, and bars where the alternative crowd gathers. An ancient wooden temple occupies a small hill at the town center. Try to recruit allies. Charisma check failure. Oh no, not only did you fail to recruit anyone to help you, but when you leave the bar, you're almost certain someone's following you. Bummer. All right, let's see. Uh, ichthyology. Leads arcane grasp perk. Suddenly the air around you begins to whirl. A supernatural wave of freezing wind is approaching. Brace myself. Strength check success. Wow, we actually succeeded at five strength. Plus five experience. Not bad. Maybe going crazy, but you swear someone's watching you from the sea. Minus one reason. Okay, well that's not helpful. Will you check it out? He will surely recognize me if I try to do it myself. When you stop by home to pick up your lunch, all right, 100% experience. Let's see what this is. Folklore studies could be helpful. Deduction, bonus XP gained for completing a mystery. This is probably the best one to take right now. And then we're going to, um, what do I want up? Luck for sure. Read the letters, minus two funds. I don't have funds, so that's fine. Staying up late, investigating the current cases really increased your electricity bill. That's all right. Go here. Um, can I schoolyard anyone? All right. Good. Uh, let's investigate the school. Student E. Hachi. As you enter the school gym, you notice a strange black doll propped up against the wall. Come closer. Against your better judgment, you approach the doll. What you see makes you gasp in horror. The doll isn't a doll. Your sudden movement causes tiny black spiders to flee, revealing a white, half-eaten corpse. Neighbor's office at school is empty. You do find a few jars, all filled with weird eel-like fish. Despite your protest, Kana decides to take one jar home. Have you ever seen an eel like this? It's so freaky. Don't you have the feeling it's watching us? Yes, I do, in fact. Investigate apartments. We're gonna be really far behind on the doom tracker, which is unfortunate. Woman jumps out of her apartment covered in gore. Between sobs, she tries to explain what happened. She was taking a shower and suddenly the shower head started spraying blood. A trail of blood leads into the dark apartment. Um, calm her down. Charisma check failure. God damn it. When you touch her shoulder, she gets hysterical. Her reaction shocks you. You move away as more neighbors enter the corridor. We're gonna die to reason loss probably. Investigate apartments. I need to start playing more into Sandal's uh, perspective. You hear rustling on the other side of the apartment door. Someone's trying to get in. Apartment stalker. Oh no, he's got a lot of HP and we do not have a lot of stamina. Four damage. That's really not good. Guess I can do four damage that. I can, so I can do two. Save that sequence. Oh no, our buddies missed. This is really bad for us. There we go. Wait, what's that? I got a baseball bat. Four damage, not bad. We'll snag that. Wait, why is it? No. You don't have time to change equipment. Oh, I have to be out of combat. Connor was right. Someone tried to burn some papers. They must have been in a hurry because some of the papers look salvageable. You returned to your apartment and tried to decipher the notes. All right. Investigate apartments. 
Doogie says truly a sandals weapon. All right, let's listen to the man this time. <laughs> you learned some useful bits of information about your nemesis. However, if everything the man said was the truth, humanity is doomed. Minus 5% doom. Why did it minus 5% doom? That doesn't make any sense. Minus 3% reason. I should gain reason for that and then increase doom. All right, let's investigate this east side. I'm so low on reason right now and I have like no way to get it back. Cool air suddenly fills your mouth. It tastes metallic. Before you can react, you hear a low growling sound coming from behind you. Heinous the lunar cat. Minus reason. Oh no, we're doomed. Uh. <laughs> I beat the cat with a baseball bat. Think about how stupid it is if Kana to try and break into your neighbor's apartment, you go to sleep. And the entire day waiting for Kana, where the hell are they? Go to school. Hearing footsteps behind you, you realize you aren't the only student here. A girl wearing a demon's mask starts giggling as you get closer. Oh no. All right. Let's do one, two, three. Young witch. That's cool. Two, three, one, two. Save. Box cutter broken. Oh, that's a bummer. It is pretty quick though. Chance to hit 60. Chance to hit 80. Yeah, that's way better. All right, let's investigate the neighbor's apartment. See what happens to Kana this time. Bedroom. We must go to a hospital. You rush to the hospital with Kana getting a lot of attention from horrified people. Your friend is taken immediately to the operating theater. You collapse on a chair in the waiting area, fall asleep. When you wake up, it's already night. Trying to ask about your friend, you're met with weird reactions of, as if she never existed. You rush to the operating theater yourself, but are stopped by armed policemen. Whatever happens, a doctor must have been too late to help. Oh no, Kana died. Oh well. You're still processing the events of the previous night. Corpse eating meals that lay eggs and eyes. Sitting before your apartment building, you watch police officers emptying out your neighbor's place. You wonder if it will ever hear from your friend again. Plus 50, so 65 experience for that. That's not too bad. Immediate level up. What does this do? Eventual inventory slot. Not necessary. Uh, extra luck. Man, we really have to level up, like, stuff. Why is my strength lowered? That's weird. An opposing shadow cast by old lighthouse is getting longer each day. We're definitely gonna die. Miron says, Happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate. Take the key. Take a bath. Uh, need reason, I guess. Oh, I did stamina by mistake. Well, that's also necessary, so not too big a deal. Um. Pretty much everything we can do here. Let's do Horrible History of Household Hell. There are many old mansions around this town. Blank Manor is one of them. Supposedly haunted by a family of four who disappeared without a trace one summer, but is it the only tragic event that took place there? Friends who talked with are not sure where the mansion itself is located. You have to find the mansion first. A trip to the library may shed some light on it. Investigate the seaside twice for this. Let's do that. Bad time to be out of cash, says the grim looking man who's standing in your way. Our company, fortunately, specializes in cases like yours and will gladly help you get back on track. After all, uh, everything has something to sell. Uh, fondest memory, absolutely. Everything suddenly gets dark, you feel sad, but you can't tell why. In your pocket, you find an envelope with cash inside, plus two funds. It's not too bad. Grab this. Definitely wanted that. Oh, I don't have enough money for that. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Investigate the seaside. You decide to enter. Small shady bar in the docks. Maybe some of the old fishermen can help you in your quest. However, persuading them to do so might be difficult. Buy them around. No fisherman would refuse a free round. They tell you tales of sunken cities inhabited by underwater things with too many legs. That works. You learn the cliff the mansion was built on is famous for its extensive cave system. You decide to rent some books that might help you. All right, sick. Uh, time to go to the school.
corridor is flooded by a black sludge that's slowly oozing from underneath the door of the chemistry classroom. Uh, take a detour. Better safe than sorry. Uh, we've already gone through that event before. Find an old trophy case set in seemingly abandoned corridor. Everything inside is covered in a thick layer of dust. One metal seems particularly valuable. Open the cabinet. Using the key you find, you open the trophy case and take an odd golden goblet without a plaque. Cool. C constantly cold to the touch. Oh no. That's very sandals. The building was supposed to be somewhere near the cliffs. You copy the mansion's photo from the newspaper and prepare to leave. Investigate downtown. All right, that's not something I can use right now. The pair has been following you since the morning. You finally managed to lose them, but can't shake the feeling that it will only get worse, minus two stamina. I'm so doomed. Travel to the seaside. You'll need a strong rope to enter the mansion through a high window. All right, I can't buy any rope. Feeling like you're on the brink of losing your mind, you decide to visit your parents' old friend, Father Yasugi. Hey, kiddo, says the priest who's currently moving some brought boxes in and out of the church. Could you lend me a hand? Sure, we'll lift the heaviest box. Plus three reason, minus one stamina. That was a fair trade-off. Lifting the box, you feel your back cracking, but you manage to get it all over with rel all over with relatively quickly. Afterwards, Father Yasugi invites you inside for a cup of hot tea and home-baked cookies made by one of the parishioners. You explain your situation to him. The priest listens, letting you vent all your doubts and anxiety. That was pretty good. All right, let's investigate the mansion. Dark Force's scheme against you. You don't know who you can trust anymore, plus curse. Oh my god. Lose one reason at the start of every enemy encounter. I am so doomed. Overgrown Garden. Round window of the Crooked Manor Tower is calling you. You feel your strength drain away as you stare into the bright light. Fight this feeling. Charisma check failure. God damn it. You don't have the strength to move a finger. The bunny light is growing larger and larger to your shock. You can't feel the ground under your feet. Where are you? Lost in time and space, you drift in nothingness until something pulls you toward the light. Upper Kingdom. This is a cool encounter. Uh, deserted temples overlook the giant corpses of forgotten beasts. With no priest to harvest it, their blood is slowly flooding the valley. Fill the goblet with blood. You fill the container with sacred blood. Bringing it back to your reality is surely a corruption of all rights and won't do you any good. Use to drink the blood. Resolve this event. Word noise com coming from the locked study. Let's investigate the room. Despite your best efforts, you feel like the neighborhood is starting to change. Threat level increases. Oh, no. In the mirror, you catch a glimpse of something that shouldn't be there. Plus 2% doom. Oh, my God. We're so fucked. <laughs> Walking through the forest, you spot a pair of legs sticking out of a bush before you can do anything. However, they twitch and move. Drink the blood. Hey, it healed us. Cool. Um, minus 2 stamina. Let's just load. Man eating plant. I doubt we're gonna make it through. It's gonna be really brutal. You aren't sure what to expect. The sturdy door to the study opens with a creak. It's dark, the dusty room is empty, but something feels wrong. A faint draft, perhaps? You move the rotten carpet aside to reveal a secret passageway cut directly into the cliff rock. Following a strange song, you discover a hidden passage that leads you to the underground chamber connected to the sea. You can't find the source of the sounds, but then it hits you. The acoustics of this place make the waves sound like the most beautiful serenade. Mesmerized, you step closer to the stone altar at the end of the room. Unholy chants uh, coming from the caves connected to the mansion must have driven the family insane. With no connection to the outside world, they fed on what they had themselves. However, this doesn't explain the fresh corpses and wet tracks around the altar. Ending C. Okay. We got a ton of experience. We got 65 experience. Minus 4% doom. Art knowledge. Weird collection. Gain one item with an occult tag at the end of every mystery. That's too, it's too late to grab that. We'll grab art knowledge. And, um. Hmm. What do we want? Probably 
But we can probably heal all that stuff pretty quickly if we get lucky. Let's increase our strength again. Yeah, that's fine. Friendly dog disappeared last night. You have to find a new place to buy equipment. Well, that's fine because we have like no money. Get some extra stamina. All right, what do we want? Moonlight sailors or school scissors? Probably school scissors. Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumor has it a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile, the sharpest scissors. You knew your friend was up to something when he left you his notebook full of cryptic notes. I can send her back where she belongs, he claimed. After he too disappeared, you decided to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that claims to stop the wicked woman once for all. What's the worst thing that could happen? Pretty bad things, like getting my face all cut up. Oh, this one is like fancy. I need to do a ritual. Huh. Kinda neat. Your missing friend has left you a notebook. If the rumors are true, to stop the tall woman with scissors, you'll need to perform a ritual to force her material form to appear in our dimension. Isn't that just summoning her? What if her, What if we just keep her material form out of this dimension? Accomplishing this requires first the drawing of an eldritch sigil and then the lighting of holy candles. Your only hope is that your friend has left them somewhere around the school. I got another bat. Oh no, spooky. I need a tiny key to open this locker. This thing sucks. Explore the school. Snowbird upon the computer room. This is a good opportunity to check the school's database to look for anything that might help your investigation. You find curious text file containing occult instructions. You delete it, preventing anyone from trying it. Minus 2% doom. Hey, that's not bad. You feel like something horrible is happening within the school. Just keep exploring, I guess. I think we, that's all we can do here. You enter the art workshop. Oh, hey, I have art experience. Checking out the sculpture was bad last time, so we want to check out that. One mask looks similar to the design you once saw in an occult book. Decide to take it with you. Caracosa, Carcosa mask, gotcha. Faster spiritual actions. Uh, neat. I don't need that, though. Oh, no, that can go on. That goes in my backpack. That's good. Resolve this event. You found an additional page from your friend's diary. It seems that the blessed chalk was left on the roof. You must hurry to find it. Peek outside. To open the door, click on the handle and drag them with the mouse button. You shouldn't risk that again. Okay. On the roof, you find a girl your friend was talking about. On one hand, she holds a bag. On the other, a pair of bloody scissors. Marked by the scissor lady. Okay. Ouch. Killed her. Defeated Maru. Oh no. I have to figure out the sigil. Uh, close the door. We've done this one before. You walk to the door and try to close it, but something is blocking it. You look and see a ghostly pale hand. You back up from the toilet using the, uh, as the door slowly opens, a girl in a tattered uniform is standing there. Her head twists unnaturally. She makes a roaring, rattling noise. The door behind you slams shut. Toilet ghost. Oh no. Is she a physical enemy or an actual? Let's try. Oh, okay, I can't use those then. So we'll have to do spiritual actions. Um, there we go. What's that? Corpse dust. Hey, use plus 20 experience minus two luck. Resolve combat. You found the sound of scissors is getting uh, louder. You must hurry. Wait, I can't, I, I need the chalk, or I need the candles, don't I? Look. 
Putting your hand in that hole was a bad idea. Seeing the big spider escape, you hope it wasn't poisonous. Fuck. Oh, minor injury. Bandage this wound. Broken bone, minus one strength. God damn it, when did that happen? Found the holy candles in your friend's backpack. You lit them as instructed in the notebook. Everything is ready for the ritual. Wait, what's that? Sigil and holy candles don't seem to have any effect on the horrible monster. Had you drawn it wrong, frozen in fear, you watch as a twitching horror gets closer. It raises its enormous scissors and croaks, am I beautiful? All right, this is gonna be it, I think. I think we're gonna get wrecked. In Frozen Fear, you watch as she gets closer. Her sharp scissors are slowly cutting through your cheeks as she asks you, am I beautiful? I've perished. Oh no, so this is our first death. We got, uh, we got killed. We finally died. Huh. Additional actions, manual, rest, prep, ship, police, library, school, hus pharmacy hardware with Kana I don't understand what that's supposed to mean uh neat that was interesting well unfortunately we died so that sucks but it's the first time we've lost a run so that's interesting um I think we will do a uh an attempt at one of the predefined stories next just to see if that like unlocks us anything new um, and if it doesn't then whatever uh, and if it does then we'll do the rest of them that sounds like a good idea